saying? And then what you saying? How you miss me? Yeah, you miss me. And all the things that we did. We said we're gonna travel from the islands to Madrid. We had a lot of plans, but they all disappeared. Why? All because of some kids. But it's okay, cause I'm moving different. Don't be saying nothing when I post it with other bitches. Pull up with my brothers. Hello, guys. This is very weird, cause I'm not with Nick and Matt right now. But this episode of our Wednesday videos, we're going to do interviews and we're going to ask ourselves a list of questions, answer them, and then we're going to do the same thing on the same day next year and see what has changed and what hasn't. My name is Matthew Bernard Sterniolo. My name is Christopher Owen Sterniolo. What's my name? My name is Nicholas Sterniolo. Antonio is the middle name. Um. Saturday, January 15th, 2022. January 15th, Saturday, 2022. January 1st, no, January 15th, 2022. I literally looked at my phone and I forgot. 18. I'm 18 years old. Uh, 18. Um, 52.3 thousand. I have 83,000 subscribers. No, you don't. I mean, 83,000. I have 83,000 Instagram followers. I have 44,000. Oh. 26,185. My most liked Instagram post is just of under 40,000. It is 39. 30, 39,478. Um, my recent one, because I posted a photo of myself, and it was just like, oh, we hit 100K, so people were like super excited. So it got a lot of comments and likes, and it is 18,327. Um, I get recognized in public when I go to the mall. That's about it. And like, maybe like, Everyone sprinkle in every once in a while, but that mostly the mall. That's about it. Whenever we go to like a really public place, like if we were to go to like a sports game or Bruins game or like the mall or something, there's a good possibility, but not every time. Probably like two to three times, like a month, maybe. I want to say maybe less than that, once a month. Um, barely ever. It's like I feel like whenever we go to a mall, it's more inclined to happen because there's like hundreds of people there. So, and me and Chris are triplets. So sometimes I can't tell if people are just staring at us because they're seeing three of the same person or they're staring at us because they've seen us on the internet. The main difference is like whether or not they start following us or not or ask for a photo. Then I know that they know us from the internet. But if they just look all confused, then they just saw triplets. Don't be a baby. Real talk. Like, like it sounds like a joke, but literally just don't be a baby. I would tell myself not to let others have total control of your emotions or like don't let other people tell you shit or tell you what to do especially adults don't let adults like be like oh you can't do this because blah 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 and you have to listen to me because I'm an adult no you don't respect your elders be respectful but just like teachers and stuff that like tell you you can't do shit are wrong you can do whatever you want just be safe about it Relax. Like, just relax. Like, you should have been way more relaxed. I was worried about way too many things, and I was um, insanely dependent on male validation, so I needed to just chill. That's about it. Um, hit 100,000 subscribers. Um, probably going to LA, or stuff in LA that we can't really talk about yet, because it hasn't happened yet, but... That's definitely the biggest thing. Um, probably signing to a management, making new friends through it, um, 100,000 subscribers, signing up for a YouTube plaque that should be at our house, hopefully soon so we can take cool photos with it, um, going to LA for the first time, a lot of things, a lot of nutty things. Growing over 10K subscribers weekly for over a month. <laughs> um, Oh, I love the bench warmers. I feel like I don't really like have a favorite movie, but like that's like a movie that like if it's on I can't not watch it. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Dark Knight. 
the Batman one, but like, that's like a very aggressive movie. Like if I have to go calm, I'm probably going the Grinch. I love the Grinch, but any Grinch, any version of it is fire. Nothing will ever top, I don't think, the OG Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with Amy Jo Johnson as the Pink Ranger and Aisha as the Yellow Ranger. I have, and I am not anymore. No, neither. Um, I am currently not, thank the Lord Jesus Christ, and I have been. Biggest regret is, this is, another, this is also gonna sound like a joke, but being a baby when I told myself not to be. Dead serious. Like, it, it sounds like a joke to people, but like, that's the mentality I have, don't be a baby. Not starting YouTube earlier. I feel like me, Matt, and Nick always wanted to do YouTube, but we took it seriously once quarantine happened. But, um, I feel like if we started beforehand, like while we were still in like high school, like our, our sophomore year, we'd be like crazy right now, like million subscribers or something. So that's probably one of my biggest regrets. Um, probably isolating myself as a child. I feel like I'd be, I would have been a happier child had I not forced myself to be alone. But that was my own fault, so. <sighs> for everybody biggest thing I learned this year is um to keep your circle small and just be friends with real people and um people that aren't really there for you to like just eliminate them from your life because I feel like I have my closest group of friends I've ever had in my life right now so I'm very happy about that it's okay to be alone you don't need to be in a relationship or even be Snapchatting someone. It is totally mighty fine to be by yourself. Um, I don't, I'd like to visit all 50 states. So I don't have like a place in particular, but I'd love to see like every state just to see how each one's off, each state operates, I guess. I want to leave the country. I don't know why, I don't know where. Maybe like, I want Bahamas maybe, that'd be cool. Um, I feel like Greece is really like cool looking and I really want to go on like a ski trip and take photos on like in, like a log cabin I want to like stay in a log cabin somewhere. That's not really a place, but like maybe like New Hampshire, Vermont has nice log cabins Oh, uh, my favorite color is blue I like a light purple My favorite color Matt kind of stole my favorite color, but mine's like baby blue or, or purple. I like orange too. Orange is really cool. Favorite colors currently, um, it changes like weekly. I'd say right now, black or purple. Pretty good. I feel like I've been, I've, I've had ups, I've had downs, but right now I'm kind of like a little past medium. Yeah. I'm pretty good. I mean, I'm getting better. I, I don't know. I feel like if I had to do on a scale from 1 to 10, probably like a 4 mentally, but hey, ups and downs, what can you do? Ugh, fine. I guess it's like realistically like alright. I get, see I think I'm fine, I feel like if I was an only child I'd be fine, but since I'm not an only child, I'm not fine because the reason I'm saying this is because my energy goes down if Matt and Chris's energy dips. So like if they're upset, then I'm just upset. And so they're upset right now, so I feel like I'm upset right now. But like if they weren't here and I wasn't worrying about them mentally all the time, probably a 10, but since they're here, I'll say like a four, six. Four to six. Ooh. Jeez, dude. I own a lot of clothes. I think it's gonna have to be my lyrical lemonade sweater that has like it's like reversible and it's got like the lemons on it and like it looks like it's like plants and stuff it's cool my favorite clothing item i own is probably my my new shorts i just got that i haven't even posted in yet they're like they look like an old like roller rink carpet and i love them very much dude this sweater i haven't taken it off since i got it in the mail like I, it's literally it got here in the mail i put it on haven't taken it off, washed it once. My favorite song is, right now, 
is probably um, Die For You by Justin Bieber featuring Dominic Fike. That's probably my favorite song currently right now. My favorite artist is always Skies and always has been, but Dominic Fike this year kind of like just just totally took over. Like he is like my favorite artist of all time right now. Him and Skies are equivalent. Billy Astral will always be one of my favorites. Ariana Grande will always be one of my favorites. Currently though, Doja Cat, hit and different. Favorite song right now is probably like, oh my god, Sweet Escape, but not by Gwen Stefani. The girl Bella DiNapoli from The Voice, her rendition of it that just got put on Apple Music. It's crazy. I think it's pretty good. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zero. I don't think I, if given the decision, I would. The only thing I feel like would be cool is if I was like a little bit taller, but I don't even think I'd do that if I had the ability to change it. I think I'd just stay how I am. I don't think I would. Like, because I feel like if you get the opportunity to change it, it's kind of like magic. And I feel like, yo, I feel like if I were to change something about myself, it would be like the butterfly effect and I'd be a completely different person. So no. Someone I want to meet? Balin Levine. I mean, I'm mutuals with him on Instagram. Oh, and Johnny Ransom. Those are like the two. Mr. Johnny and Mr. Balin. So I wanna, I wanna meet Kaylin because we've been friends with Kaylin on the internet for like over a year now and never met. I wanna hang out with her and her brother Johnny. I wanna meet, um, I really wanna meet like Skies because like, I don't know, like listening to all his music and like all throughout high school and shit, like, I don't know. It's just like, it was just so crazy, so. I feel like if I met Skies, that'd be like one of the craziest days of my life. I want to meet our online friend Kaylin because we've been friends forever. And then I want to like extremely blow up on YouTube so that Doja Cat knows that I exist and we can maybe get spaghetti or something. I, I don't, no. Do I have a crush on anyone? Not really. I There's good looking girls, but you know, don't like anyone, so. A crush would require m emotion. Yeah, a crush would re require something beyond physical attraction, so I do not have a crush on anyone. Oh, uh, no. No, I can't even think of three gay men, so, no. Um, it's a new year. We're literally 15 days in. That's a big one. Um, obviously I want to keep doing YouTube stuff, but want to focus on like I don't know what I want to focus on that's the, that's the problem I want to focus on more things that aren't YouTube but keep YouTube as good as it's going if that makes sense I hope it does um, a goal I want to complete this year I really want to hit like a million subscribers this year which I feel like is low-key pushing it but I feel like me Matt and Nick could do it I think we could do it but that's like very, very forcing it. So who knows? But anything's possible, am I right? Who knows what we'll be at. <laughs> um, I wanna get into music more and like try to like either learn how to play the guitar, which I used to. I used to be good at it and then I like kind of slacked and forgot. Or like just do something music related for myself or just like get more in the music scene with our YouTube videos, like make videos with artists and stuff like that. Like that's one of my goals this year as well. Um, a goal I wanna, I wanna complete this year is probably, there's a couple actually, I probably wanna like, I wanna start a podcast really bad. I've been telling Matt and Chris that, but it's a lot of money, it's a lot of setup, it's a lot of editing. Um, I also want to start creating merch really bad, or like cool merch. You know, you'll figure it out when we drop it. It'll be cool. But merch. Yeah. I don't want to hold a grudge against myself. Yeah. I'm very happy with what I've done so far. I feel great. Yeah. I feel like it would suck because we have so much progress and potential, but yeah, we did it good. First time going to LA. If I could relive any moment, is this is gonna sound so corny, but probably Prime Fortnite. Because Prime Fortnite, like season two, season three, like just with the with my friends, with Nathan, with like my older brother Justin, like that those were some some of like my most fond memories. Like and it was the beginning of high school. So like just that time period, probably freshman year of high school. 
I'd repeat. Um, probably standing outside of Harry Potter World um, with our LA friends for the first time. Or Florida, the week in Florida with our friend Nathan. I have my ears pierced and no tattoos. I'm probably done with piercings. Probably, that's a big probably. I think I'm done though. Um, and then tattoos, I'll probably get a couple, not many though. I only have my ear lobes, but I wanna get, I wanna get my a nose stud, but I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm like on the fence about it. I feel like I'm just gonna send it one day. And I have zero tattoos, but I wanna get, um, I wanna get Rudolph, I don't know why, but I want Rudolph somewhere. That's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna change my mind because that sounds so dumb right now on this camera, but fuck it, I want Rudolph. I currently have my ears pierced, my nose pierced, and, oh, that's it, I just got scared. I thought I was missing something. I don't know, just my ears. I wanna get my doubles really bad, and if they tell me that my earlobe isn't big enough, which I've seen happen to people, I'll do something like up a little bit more on both sides, or like, you know, and I have no tattoos, but I'm probably, I'm hoping that when we redo this next year, I have like, eight. Three Nights by Dominic Fike. Um, the last song I played, hold on. West Coast Collective by Dominic Fike. Alone by Doja Cat. Hit 100k on YouTube. One thing I did this year that I never have done before is leave Massachusetts on my own with just Nick and Matt, like without my mom or anything, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'd probably travel with just my brothers. Chris already answered, said the same answer, but probably flew by myself with my siblings without my mom and dad and older brother. So me and Chris went and ventured off, did something on our own. Look at how far you came. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> don't trip over something that's not worth it. Just stop overthinking, stop worrying about shit. Everything's gonna fall into place. And it probably already has. I hope you're keeping that productivity up because like right now I'm pretty productive. I hope that I'm like moving more. I hope that you're just doing what you, like your goals are. I hope you achieve them. Or not really goals, but like the mindset you want to be in, I hope you get there. And if not, who knows what the fuck I'll be doing. I cringe every single time I look at myself a video a week ago. So I hope you're not like crying at how horrible you look right now. But like, hey, I think I look all right, but like next year I'll probably look better, so I don't know. Okay, that has been it. We just interviewed ourselves. We are going to be doing it again on the same day next year. So January 15th next year. I hope you guys like this. I hope you're excited for it to come out next year. We're excited to film it again. Um, and we appreciate you guys. Go prepare for Friday's video. Go follow our group Instagram if you do not because we post photo dumps there every single Friday. Also, follow us personally if you want to get to know us a little bit more. So, peep the Instagrams. Can you say, okay. and then what you say, how you miss me, yeah you miss me, and all the things that we did, we said we're gonna travel from the islands to Madrid, we had a lot of plans but